coming. So just a quick introduction. My name is Bay Tilson. Um, I teach at Black Sun Yoga in Houston. Um, I thought I was doing really well with this whole kind of uh, international crisis. And then I got hit with some bad news yesterday and it, while normally bad news comes and it goes for me and I'm pretty good at moving through it, yesterday it felt like mud that had just sunk my energy and I tried to get on my yoga mat and I just felt like I couldn't move and I tried to go on a run and it felt like my legs were lead. Um, and I, I'm not sure if this is anything that anyone else is feeling, um, but I was a little anxious in preparing for today's flow because I just, for the last just 24 hours, I just haven't felt like I can move. Um, so I'm really excited to try to keep this flow very light. Um, as always, if something I suggest doesn't serve you well, don't do it. Um, take a modification or an amplification. This is your practice likely in your very personal and sacred space. And <clears throat> this is your body and your time. So whatever you do, let's make sure that the choices for our practice are serving each of us as well as they can right now. There's no expectation or judgment um, coming from this end of the screen. And hopefully on your end, you're able to release some of that as well. We'll begin our practice today lying down on the back. We're going to begin in a Supta Baddha Konasana, so the soles of your feet come together. Open your knees out to the side and kind of lay on down. If we were seated, it would be called a butterfly. If this is too intense on your hips, feel free to keep the feet grounded and your knees pointed up to the sky. For extra grounding, if that's what you need this morning, palms can plant down at your sides. As I just mentioned, I'm feeling a little heavy as it is, so I'm going to keep palms open and knees open, and for all of us, most importantly, keeping your heart open. Center your chin over your chest, elongate the back of your neck, roll your shoulder blades together. Palms can be open at your sides, they can be connected back to the body, or they can be rotated palm down into the mat alongside you. Say everything out. And take a deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Filling up and expanding into your lungs. Open your mouth and really sigh and then compress that air out. Take one more deep breath in through your nose. Fill all the way up. Expand as big and as full as you can. Then open your mouth and let it go. One by one, extend your arms behind you and then interlace your fingers. Press your palms to the back of your space and then extend your legs to the top of your mat, straight and strong. Take a lengthening deep breath in, point your toes and on your exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Interlace your hands around your shins and take a gentle rock side to side. Circle your knees around and go the other direction. Hug your knees up into your nose and pull your nose up into your knees. Exhale, releasing, plant your palms down at your side, plant your heels in front of your sits bones, wrap your shoulder blades down your back, and then inhale, lift your hips up to the sky for a bridge pose. Lift a little higher the hip bones, and exhale, unroll your spine all the way down. Plant the palms firmly. Inhale, lift for bridge, pressing the hips up to the sky, feeling your chin press into your chest. 
and exhale, unroll all the way down one more time. Third time, plant firmly through the palms, inhale to lift up for a bridge, press the sternum up and in towards the chin. Exhale, gently unroll all the way down. Inhale, lift your legs up to the sky. Point and flex your toes three times. Point your toes one more time. Really feel the stretch through the top of the shins and the feet. Exhale, flex your feet back. Inhale, feel the tailbone micro tilt up. And exhale, lower just your right heel down to the end of the mat. Keep pulling the left big toe back towards your face. It's almost like a split. Inhale, meet to it. Center. Exhale, lower the left heel slowly all the way down. Begin to pull the right big toe up towards your nose. Inhale, lift both legs. Exhale, lower the right heel. Pull the left toe slightly back. Both legs stay super straight. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower to the other side. Lowering the left heel, pulling the right toes back, 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 back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open the knees wide. Reach for the bottoms of the feet for your happy baby. If catching the bottoms of the feet isn't accessible to you, that's okay. Just go ahead and take the ankles or around the calves. Sometimes I like to even wrap my arms around the back of the calves to use the elbow tips. That's kind of a point of leverage off which you're able to open through the groin. Take a deep breath in. Slowly release and extend the left heel to the end of the mat. Try to keep the half happy baby bind on the right side. Pull your right knee down into your right armpit. Reach through the left heel, finding that length in the left side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your right knee up and over to the left side of your mat for a supine twist. Lift your chin to the sky and then turn your chin towards your right fingertips as you extend the right arm out. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Reach your right fingertips around behind you, all the way to catch the right knee. Bring your right knee back up into your chest, give it a squeeze. Have the left knee up to meet the right. Inhale, lift your nose to your knees, and exhale, go straight for the happy baby, pulling the knees wide. Take a little rock side to side, maybe you extend one or both legs. Whatever feels good in your practice today, maybe you take a different arm variation, or there's lots of choices you can make, y'all. Uh, something that feels good for you. You're in your living room. If you want a 60-minute shavasana, in my book, that's still an hour of yoga. Gently release and extend the right heel to the end of your mat. Bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot and pull the left knee down into the left armpit. In fact, I contemplated, I was like, what if I just taught a 60 minute Shavasana? And then I was like, I don't know that that's really what people are looking for. But sometimes it is what you need. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lift the left knee up and over to the right side of your mat. Ooh, maybe you get a little snap, crackle, pop in your spine. Extend the left fingertips and turn your chin to the left. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more deep breath in. Big, releasing, rinsing breath out. Come back to your spine. Hug the left knee into your chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. Draw the right knee up to meet the left. Inhale, lift your nose to your knees. Exhale, happy baby. Gentle rock side to side. Lengthen the back of the legs a little bit more like a reclined straddle. And exhale, hug the knees to the chest. Begin to gently rock forward and back. Feeling the length of your spine up and down, connecting to the mat, engaging the core to find that smooth rock and roll. Take one more rock back, one more rock forward, and come to balance in a Navasana boat pose, either an intentional flex in the feet or point. Your hands can always come to your sides for a little extra support, or if you're really just looking to like up-level your Saturday morning, you can straighten the legs and the arms. I'm going to go for something in between, kind of here. Take a deep breath in. Straighten your legs and lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, straighten your legs and lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, straighten your legs, lower down and hold. Keep holding. 
Scissor kick your legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, straighten your legs lower down. Inhale, lift up, hands to prayer and prayer twist for 10, 9. Really dig those elbows down. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Inhale, high boat, lift up. Exhale, cross the ankles, rock forward, plant your palms, step up or float your feet to the back of the mat, mean high plank. We're going to power up with the core now so that we don't have to do it at the end of class. Pull your belly in, press through the palms, take a deep breath in, and out, and in, and out. You can always drop your knees. One more inhale, one more exhale, plant through the right palm, turn your heels towards the right, lift your left arm to the sky, side plank for three breaths. You can take your left leg and lift it, inhale, on exhale, you can always drop your knees, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, lift up. Exhale, ground the left palm. Three breaths at center. Inhale. And exhale. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. Turn the heels to the left. Lift your right arm to the sky. Side plank. You can always drop the knees. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe you lift the leg. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, high plank, last three breaths here. You can do it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Big exhale, slow as you can. Point your elbow tips straight back as you lower your body like a board down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders and inhale. Scoop your head up for a little cobra. Feel the belly button pulling forward. Lift it off the mat, drop the shoulder blades down your back, lift the chin up, deep breath in. Exhale, unroll. Bring the hands back a few inches and then press your body up and back to tabletop. Your shoulders will stack over your wrists, your hips stack over your knees. Take three big circles around. Third circle, inhale, shift forward. Take a little tricep, top of the chin down. Inhale, all the way up. Three circles around in the other direction. Really get into the shoulder joint. Feel that big rotation. Two. Last circle. Three. Shift forward. Bend the elbow tip straight back. It's a tricep. Chin dip. Inhale all the way up. Bring your big toes together. Sink all the way back and down for child's pose. Reach the fingertips forward and draw your forehead down to the mat. Three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, really keep the arms as long and straight as you can, the triceps engaged. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mouth. Take an inhale, and an exhale. Inhale, and an exhale. One more big inhale. One more big exhale here. Walk your hands all the way to the top of the mat and then around to the left side. Deep breath in and out. And in and out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Walk your hands back to the top of your mat. Inhale, press forward for tabletop. Center the knees underneath your hips, separate the toes, and then drop the belly, loop the crown of the head, star gazing cow pose. Create that big U shape in the spine. Maybe take a little lateral movement side to side. Exhale, press the mat away, pull your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, open the heart forward, Isaac. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. One more inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, open your heart forward. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Press the weight into the left, right knee, extend the left leg and right finger to the back. Deep breath in for the diagonal line. Exhale, nose to knee, squeeze tight. Inhale, reach long. 
Exhale, nose to knee. One more, inhale, reach long. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, plant the right palm down underneath the right shoulder. Ground the left toes at the back of the mat. Press back into the left heel and arch. Option to hover the right knee to make this a little more in core engaged, but feel it in the left ankle. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently return to tabletop. Drop the belly, lift the crown of the head bigger this time. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. One more, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine. Going for the left side, press weight into the left knee. Extend the left fingertips forward, right leg reaches back. Deep breath in, nose to knee. Inhale, reach, it's that same crunch and contraction, nose to knee. One more, inhale, reach long. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale for length. Exhale, ground the hands underneath the shoulder. Plant the toes at the back of the mat. Push back into the right heel. You may even notice that you can push so hard that your left knee and chin might lift off the mat. Press back into the ankle. One more, inhale. Exhale, tabletop. Last, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, open the heart. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. If you like to take a moment to flip the palms and open your forearms, feel free to go there. Otherwise, tuck the toes, lift your hips, and meet in your first downward facing dog. Pedal your feet side to side. Really get into the arches, into the toes, as though you're muddling grapes. So, I may be dating myself here, but there was a hilarious YouTube with this poor woman who was muddling grapes for some TV show, and she falls, and then you just hear her wailing, the poor thing, oh my god. But, I fell on roller skates the other day, and I sounded the exact same way. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, lift to your toes, bend your knees, look forward, and then step, hop, float, tiptoe your feet up to your hands, however you want to get there. Inhale, halfway lift, find the flat back. Exhale, soften the knees and forward fold. Give your hands an attachment to the back of your legs and give your heart a pull to the thighs. Take an inhale and an exhale. We'll take each of our sun salutations two times, the first time a little bit slower, the second time at breath. Inhale, halfway lift, long flat back. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Soft bend in the knees, unroll your spine all the way up to standing stack, hips on top of knees, roll the shoulders down your back. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take an inhale through your nose. And an exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Soft breath out. Last deep breath in here into Dasana. Lift through the heart. Open your palms and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Grab the left wrist and lean to the right side of your space. Inhale, rise up. Really reach tall. Exhale, switch hands, lean to the left. Inhale, rise up, reach tall, find a little back bend, and exhale, softly bend the knees as you forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground your fingertips, step your right, left foot, sorry, to the very back of your mat. We're going to go left foot first. Lower the left knee down, untuck your left toes, bring your hands to your right thigh, and press the weight forward and down. Check the alignment of right knee over your ankle. <sighs> the alignment of your hips facing forward. The hardest part of yoga really is the getting to your mat. So for those of you who are here, namaste. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Lifting, exhale, sweep it down and back for half splits. We're gonna stay here for three breaths this first time. So really sink into it. Inhale, drop the forehead. Maybe walk your fingertips out. Inhale. Exhale, lean a little deeper, lengthen a little more, really flex those right toes. One more inhale. 
One more big exhale here in half splits. Inhale, shift the weight forward, come back to your kneeling crescent, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Really reach the left fingertips forward as your right hand reaches back. Inhale. Exhale, reach the right fingertips back as your left fingertips reach for the sky. Exalted warrior. Inhale. Exhale, when my hands around and down. One more half splits, this time for two breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, shift forward to the right foot. Exhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, lift the belly. Exhale, softly step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Find the flat back. Really push your sits bones back. Exhale, forward fold and let it go. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep your arms to the sky. Grab the right wrist this time and lean to the left. Really use the left hand to pull the right arm long. Inhale, rise up. Switch hands and lean to the right. Long side body. Inhale, rise up. Lift the heart. Exhale, softly bend the knees and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back. Exhale, ground your fingertips and step your right foot to the very back of the mat. Wiggle it back there if you need. And then gently lower the right knee down and untuck the right toes. Notice the diagonal line from my right knee up through my left knee. Hands to the left thigh, lunge forward. Feel that right hip flexor lengthening. When you're ready, arms up to the sky, lifting the heart. Exhale, pull it straight down and back. Three breaths in your favorite variation of half splits, which might be more like three quarter splits or full splits. If full splits is not in your practice, go little by little. You don't need to go from half to full in a day. It can be a process. I know sometimes, especially these days, you're like, well, I haven't done that in 10 years. Maybe I should try doing that. Much like rollerblading, although that's like a 20 year difference for me. But I would recommend maybe taking it slow for any of those things. On your next inhale, shift forward. Sweep your arms up to the sky. And then twist to the left, kneeling crescent. Really engage the obliques. Deep breath in. Deep breath out to twist. One more inhale, lift through the crown of the head. And exhale, reach the left fingertips back as your right fingertips reach and lift up to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, engage the core. Twin your arms all the way around and down. Second half splits, two breaths. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, pull hips back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, lift the belly off the thighs. Softly step the right foot up to meet the left. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise. Grab the left wrist and lean to the right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, go left. This one's at tempo. Inhale, rise. Lift the heart, really reach back. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat and lower the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, half splits, it's one breath. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, shift forward, lift your arms to the sky, twist to the right, deep breath in. Exhale, reach back, lift your left fingertips up, deep breath in. Exhale, familiar hands around and down, Back to half splits. Deep breath in. Big fold. Exhale. Inhale. Shift forward. Exhale. Tuck the right toes. Lift the right knee. Right. Left. Sorry. Left foot meets the right. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise. Grab the right wrist. Lean to the left. Inhale. Rise. To the right. Inhale. Rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, ground the fingertips, right foot steps back, the right knee lowers, the right toes untuck, hands to the sky, kneeling crescent, deep breath in. Exhale, half split, pull it down and back. Deep breath in, big breath out. Inhale, shift forward, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Big breath in. Exhale, start to reach back, lift your right arm up, lift the heart, big breath in. Exhale, we melt around and down, straight to half splits, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, shift the weight forward, 
Exhale, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, right foot meets the left, halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise. One more time, lean right. Inhale, rise. Lean left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. Kneeling crescent, inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, reverse, reach back, lift the heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, half split. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right. Last side, halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise. Lean left. Inhale, rise. Lean right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back. Lower the knee. Untuck the toes. Kneeling crescent. And twist. Nope. Half splits. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, kneeling crescent. And twist. For real this time. Inhale. Exhale, reach back. Lift the heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, half splits. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Keep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms. Lift the heart. Throat releases. Inhale, rise up. Straighten strong. Tuck the tailbone. Exhale, Utkatasana, low chair. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more breath, inhale, really sit back into it, exhale, inhale, lift up, rise to reach, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, ground your palms, step, hop or float the feet back to high plank, and then lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky, exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, find a little movement here, <sighs> Inhale, straighten the right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, crunch. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch. One more, inhale, lift to lengthen. Exhale, knee to your nose. Softly step your right foot between your hands. Pivot left foot down. Root to rise, warrior one. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, cactus your arms. Interlace your hands at your tailbone. Press your knuckles to the wall behind you. Lift your heart to the sky. And exhale, lunge forward to humble warrior. Really sink down deep. Drop the crown of the head down, down, down. Knuckles overhead, arms are straight. Take one more inhale. Release the arms, exhale. Inhale, rise up, lift the heart. Warrior one, exhale, ground the palms. Right foot steps back to left, maybe it hovers. Gently lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, deep breath out, lower the heels a little more. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, stack your hips, find a little circular movement here. And the other direction. Now square it off, straight and strong. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, inhale, reach long. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot through, pivot your right heel down, root rise, warrior one. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, cactus the arms. Interlace your hands at your tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, lunge forward, lengthen forward. Drop the crown, deep breath in. Deep breath out, sink lower. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Release the hands, exhale, inhale, arms up, lifting the heart to warrior one. Exhale, ground your palms. Left foot steps back to right, maybe it hovers as you lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift to your toes. 
Exhale, bend your knees. Step, hop or float your feet forward. Inhale, half or lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hold here for an inhale. Hold here for an exhale. Softly let your hips and knees melt. Option to interlace your hands at the nape of your neck and take a moment to remind your body that it's okay to let a little go. <sighs> to shake a little out. I guess the horse sigh, that big <sighs> is one of my favorite letting, letting goes. <sighs> you know. Whatever you got going on that's not serving you, shake it out the top of your head. Maybe it's a little stuck. Shake a little harder. Okay, start to slow it down. Inhale, find a half by lift. And exhale, big forward fold. Same flow, one more time. One breath, one movement. Root drives, ooh, kita. Lifting up to the sky. Exhale, heart opening back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale, rise back up, straight and strong. Press the hips forward. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half your lift. Exhale, ground your palms. Step, hop your foot, the feet back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. If you like to flip the dog, feel free to go for that here. Otherwise, big circles. And the other direction. Inhale, everyone, three leg down dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, crunch. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch. One more lift high. Exhale, knee to nose, and step the right foot through. Pivot the left heel down. Root to rise, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms. Interlace your hands. Inhale, straighten your arms. Lift the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Really go deep forward in the first breath, because one inhale. Only one exhale. Inhale, rise up, reach up, sweep your arms to the sky, heart opens. Exhale, ground your palms. Right foot steps back, maybe it hovers, lower down. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Plant through your palms again. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend your knee, stack your hips, circle it around. Or if you like to flip your dog, of course, that is your practice. Inhale, come back to three leg down dog. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, knee to nose. One more. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, step your left foot all the way through. Pivot the right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, cactus your arms. Interlace your hands. Lift the heart. And then lunge forward. Drop to the inner thighs. One inhale. One deep sink exhale. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one, lift the heart. Exhale, ground your palms. Left foot steps back to right, and you lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step hop or float your feet forward. Inhale, half or lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, sweep your arms up to the sky. Hands to heart center, Utkatasana, sink it down. It's our final sun salutation. It's gonna be a long one though. Take an inhale. Exhale, hook your left tricep on the outside of the right thigh to twist. Inhale, shift the weight to the right foot. Hover the left toes off the mat. Take an inhale here, extend your left leg back, and then step your left foot down at the back of the mat for a revolved crescent. Open your wings, sink a little deeper. Now, keeping that right arm up, imagine being pulled up behind the obliques by the arms, stay revolved, facing the right, deep breath in, deep breath out. Start to reach your right finger to the back, reach your left arm up, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, arms up, full crescent warrior, Exhale, warrior three, power forward into the right foot. Yesterday when I did this, I fell into some bushes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Step your left foot all the way back, crescent warrior. Inhale, warrior two, pivot around. 
Roll your shoulders down your back. So my family doesn't really do my yoga, which is fine, but they saw in the caption of my post that I had fallen, and so then they watched the yoga just to see me fall into some bushes. So mean. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse. Feel that long side body. Hold here for the inhale. Exhale, straighten your front leg, reach back. Now engage the right obliques again, rise all the way up. Tilt around and down to triangle pose. Really stack the shoulders, lift your chin to your right thumb. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, rise up. This time, turn the left heel in, hands to heart center. Sink down for God or goddess squat. Take a little rock side to side. Inhale, lift your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, sink on down to the left knee as you transition to Skandasana, flexing your right toes to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, extend the left fingertips out, right arm up. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, sweep it all the way down and stay low as you come back to the top of the mat. Ground the left palm beside the right foot. Inhale the right arm up for easy twist. Exhale, ground the right fingertips. Standing slits, lift the left leg to the sky. If you like to handstand hop here, feel free to go there. If you're challenging your balance, maybe hands come around the ankle. Maybe you're just working on bringing your forehead into your shin and lifting the left leg up. Take two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground your palms. Step the left foot back. Step the right foot back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. There's always a risk there. On that last easy twist that it might turn into a side plank. But we got that out of the way early, so that's good. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step hop or float your feet forward. Last side, halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sink it down for prayer variation of Utkatasana. Lift the heart to the thumbs, inhale. Exhale, hook the right tricep around the outside of the left thigh. Twist as you pull the belly up. Square the shoulders, one on top of the other. And then shift your weight, open the wings as an option. Shifting your weight to the left foot, hovering the right toes. Extend your right leg to the back of the mat and then step it off. Open the wings if they aren't already. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist deep. Drop that left hip down. Pick up the back of the right knee. And then reach back. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, full crescent warrior. Rise up. Exhale, warrior three. Stick your landing. You've got it. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, reach, one more inhale. Exhale, step your right foot down at the back of the mat. Crescent warrior to warrior two. Adjust your alignment. Draw the shoulders down. Just breathe, sink deep. Deep breath in, big breath out. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Hold for the inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, reach further. Inhale, use the obliques to rise up. Circle around and down. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. Lift your knees to your right thumb. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise up. Pivot your right heel in. Hands circle around and into heart center. Or if you prefer cactus arms for a little god or goddess squat, take an inhale. Sink a little lower, and then sleep, slinks. That wasn't a word. Over to the right foot, right knee, as you flex your left toes up to the sky, hands to heart center. Option to open your wings. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, release the hand down. Slow and low, Spider-Man walk to the top of your mat. Ground the right palm, lift the left arm up. Easy twist, deep breath in. Exhale, ground the left palm. Standing splits, your favorite variation. Lifting the right leg, maybe it's handstand hops. Pulses, curtsy dips, challenge of the balance. 
Engage the right glute. Really feel as though you're being lifted up and pulled backwards from the right toe. Take one more inhale. Step your right foot to the back of the mat. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Gently lower it down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Paddle it out side to side. We're going to start to slow it down. Getting into our final hips and hamstrings. But first, one balancing pose. Well, two balancing poses of dancer and tree. Lift your toes, bend your knees, tiptoe your feet to halfway up the mat, walk your hands to halfway back the mat. You can stay facing whatever direction is most easy for you. Halfway lift, forward fold. Root to rise, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Dancer is our first balancing pose, so I will turn to the side for that one. Find the flattest part of your mat if you're on carpet or, God forbid, grass. It's a little harder, but we're all doing the best we can with what we've got, right? Bring your right arm out to the side. And then bend your right knee, catch your foot or ankle. I like catching from the inside, so it's like your thumb is facing up and you're catching the arch of your foot. Square the hips and shoulders. And then focus your gaze on something that's not moving. When you're ready, lift your left arm to the sky. If this is a balancing challenge for you, feel free to stay right here. Opening the quad, opening the chest, lifting the chin, deep breath in, begin to reach forward as you kick back into the right hand. Feel equal parts, the kick and the reach. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. One last big reach, lift, lengthen, open. Exhale, gently release the way you came in. Let it go, shake it out, shimmy it out. I don't know why this is like my go-to dance move too. Not a great dancer, but whatever. Whatever, just trying to live. Arms up, hands to heart center. Open your left palm to this side. Bend your left knee, catch your foot or ankle. Again, I like from the inside. Maybe you need to try two times to really catch the catch. When you're ready, feel the quad open. Set your gaze on a non-moving point. Find that little chip in the paint in your wall. And then lift your right arm up to the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now don't fixate, just be present to breathe, to be focused, and yet unconcerned. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale, lift to lengthen, big opening. Exhale, gently release the way you came in. Shake it out, wiggle it out. If you did happen to see a paint chip, let that go too. Final balancing pose is tree today. You can be whatever kind of tree you want to be. If you want to be a fallen tree, or a stump, or an extended leg tree, this is your practice. Arms up to the sky. Hands to heart center. Shift the weight to the left foot. And lift your right foot either to your ankle, your calf, or wedge that heel up into your hip flexor. Hands reconnect at heart center. Again, focus your gaze on something and yet be completely without attachment. When you're ready, grow your tree. Focused and yet detached from outcome. Finding gratitude and presence and lightness in the space in between. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale, lift through the fingertips, open across your heart. Exhale, gently reconnect the finger pads together. Bring your hands into heart center. And then release your foot. Pedal it up. 
Sorry if I threw you off by losing my own balance. I'd like to say I'm perfect, but time and time again, that's proven untrue. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Hands to heart center. Shift the weight to the right foot, and this time, lift your left ankle to either press into the right, or the calf, or maybe up into your hip flexor. Whatever feels good for your alignment and your body. Level hips, open heart, calm, focused presence. Reach for the sky. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift your fingertips, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, reconnect the finger pads. Bring the hands to heart center. Release, let it go. Shake it out, shimmy it out. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, heart opening back and let it go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. If you like to crow back, feel free to crow. Halfway lift. Exhale, ground your palms, step up or float the feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Big heart opening, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down, untuck the left toes. Bring your right hand to your right inner thigh and open your right knee so that your body rotates to face the right side of your space. Take an inhale and an exhale. You may find that you've got room to lower the left forearm down. Feel free to go there if that serves you. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, gently bend the left knee, reach around with the right hand, open the chest. One more big inhale. Pull the heel to the glute, exhale. Release the left ankle, and then find one more half split all the way down and around. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Gently shift forward into the right footprint. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee. Active listening, because we're going to come into a cross-legged seat. So I'm going to switch sides of the mat just to show you, and be able to face you head on. Take one more inhale. And then tuck your left knee underneath the right knee to come into that cross-legged seat. I say so I can be able to see you. I can't see you. Wish I could. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Your favorite cross variation. So if knee over knee or the cow face pose variation doesn't serve you well, feel free to go for crisscross applesauce or something else in between. Take one more inhale here. One more big exhale. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And exhale, walk your fingertips straight forward. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, you're going to unwind into a wide leg forward fold. So walk your hands around to the left, ground your palms, and then unwind, wide leg forward fold. Welcome to my living room. This is an odd way to see you. Inhale, arms out to the flat back, unless you're going to invert from this wide leg forward fold. Arms all the way up to the sky, and then softly step up, float to the top of your mat. Inhale, arms up, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Last side, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground your palms, step up or float with feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana, big upward facing dog, and big downward facing dog, pull it back. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Step your left foot to the outside of the left hand, lower the right knee down. It's a lizard lunge, so your foot is wider than it would be in a warrior asana. Again, option to lower the forearm down. When you're ready, bring your left palm to the inside of the knee and press it open. Feel your body also rotate to the left side of your space. 
Roll the shoulders down your back, lift your chin, deep breath in, deep breath out. Really press that knee wide, let it open. When you're ready, bending the right knee, reaching around with the left hand to catch your foot or ankle. Really open the chest, the chin, the heart. Big breath in, pull the heel back. Exhale, release the toes, tuck them down. Find a little half splits first. You can keep the toes tucked or untucked. Deep breath in, deep breath out, fold into it. Notice how these half splits feel different when the ankle is wide, right? A little more IT action, IT band action. Shift the weight back forward. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up. Take a deep breath in, like kind of pull the hips up and then find that deep cross-legged seat. Trying to stack knee over knee while grounding both sits bones. It may or may not be as accessible on one side as the other. For me, one side is definitely harder. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the back of your mat. Lifting your heart, rotating deep, deep breath in and out, and in, and out, one more inhale, one more big exhale here, really ring it out, arms up to the sky, and then walk it forward, draping your heart over your front thigh, <sighs> inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last inhale. Big fold. Reach the arms all the way up. Circle them around to the right. Unwinding your feet into that wide leg forward fold. Maybe you like to invert here, maybe like a little lunge side to side. Take a moment, whatever feels good. Half lift, let it go. Arms out to a strong T, rise all the way up, and then step to the top of your mat, hands to prayer. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lift to your toes, drop your hips to your heels. Gently roll all the way back to your spine. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale, lift your nose to your knees. Exhale, pinch your heels in front of your sits bones. We're gonna take three bridge building to wheel. If you like three wheels, feel free to go there. If you like a block or legs up the wall, this is your chance to hold there. Inhale, lift your hips and heart to the sky for bridge. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. Option to interlace the hands. Press the sides of your wrists down. Wiggle the triceps underneath you. And then lift to the tips of your toes. Take one more inhale. Big exhale. Release the hands. Release the heels. And unroll your spine back down to the mat. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Hands at your sides. Heels in front of your sits bones. Bridge number two. Inhale, lift your hips to the sky. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. You can interlace the hands or not, that's your choice. This time, lift the tips of your toes. Walk your toes up so they're underneath the knees. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Plant your right ankle across the left thigh. Press the knee open and unroll your spine back down. A little reclined half pigeon. Interlace your hands behind the left thigh. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Gently release, ground the left foot. Take a moment to extend the right leg and then plant the right foot down beside the left. Last bridge, inhale, lift your hips to north to the sky. Exhale, option to interlace your hands. Lift to the tips of your toes. Walk your toes back so they're directly underneath your knees. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Press your left ankle over the right thigh. Press your left knee forward. Release the hands and unroll your spine back down to the mat. Recline half pigeon, interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Press the left knee open. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. 
Exhale, plant the right foot down. Lift the left leg up, straighten it. Plant the left foot down. This time I'm doing full wheel. Hands to your ears, fingertips point towards your shoulders. Walk those heels in close, 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 close. And then lift your hips and heart to the sky. Full wheel for three to five breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, push to straight arms. Exhale, tuck your chin. And gently unroll all the way down. Knees to your chest. Happy baby. Inhale. Release the left foot to the end of your mat. Exhale. Really pull that right knee down. Take an inhale. Exhale. Find your supine twist. Cross it up and over. Deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Biggest breath in. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Come back to your spine. Hug the right knee to your chest. Hug the left knee to your chest. Lift your nose to your knees. Find your happy baby. Reach for the bottoms of your feet. A little rock side to side. Inhale. Release and extend the right heel to the end of your mat. Pull your left knee into your armpit. Feel that opening. Big breath in. Exhale, guide your left knee up and over to the right side of your mat. Three breaths. Deep breath in. And out. Start to release and unwind. Deep breath in. And out. Last, deepest breath in. Fill all the way up. Open your mouth and let it go. Gently come back to your spine. Hug your left knee into your chest. Hug your right knee into your chest. Lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. Fill all the way up. Inhale. Release and extend for our final resting pose of Shavasana. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Whatever noise or movement is happening around you, try to first acknowledge it. And then softly let it be. Allow it to be part of your space. Allow it to just exist. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Life is going to throw us some interesting curveballs, some challenges, some things we just maybe weren't hoping for or expecting. And I think that this is a good challenge to begin to welcome some of that unknown into our space and our lives as inevitable. And then lean into the things about that where we can find grace and peace and comfort. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana as long as serves your day. Maybe you move it back to your bed, to a quiet room. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.